we're already about six or seven minutes past the official off time not sure who that is in the picture now we're having a look at uh, and in comes here comes Swakadelic going into the outside stall under Philip Minerick only about two more left to go in now I can see Mirko Demuro on open your heart he's hung back he's, he has to start from the very outside stall number 20 here he comes now open your heart with Mirko Demuro so almost all they're almost all in position now 18 runners, they're under orders and they're off. The Derby has started, the 145th running of the Deutsches Derby Group 1 race. One and a half miles at Hamburg this afternoon. The seventh race on, eighth race on the card, two non-runners. Seven and 12 are the non-runners. And as always, a big rush to the first first uh, bend here. And in the front of the moment is Carl Taylor, number 15. Looks like he's got a, a narrow lead under Martin Lane. And they're passing the stands out, going towards the, the first bend with uh, number 15 and number Swakadelic. But it's number 15 just about the holding the lead on the outside. See the moon is going to the front. So Christophe Soumillon has decided to force the pace here and he's gone to the front on See the Moon now as the horses go down the far side. See the moon now in the lead under Christophe Soumillon from number 15 Carl Taildor. Uh, quickly in position is Wild Chief, number four in third place. On the outside also Harry Bentley on Amazonit is close up. Also the favorite uh, the second favorite Lucky Lion on the inside, the black and orange colours. And the whole field now sweeping around the turn into the far turn into the far side now with a mile still to run and see the moon in front under Christophe Soumillon from number 15 Carl Taildor outside Amazonit and then uh, the uh, lucky lion is close up in orange and black and on the outside the dark colors of Geoffrey Chaucer is well placed and the wide outside Andrew de Vries on Chance Cauldron. They're going down the far side now, seven furlongs still to run. Still see the moon under Christoph Sumiel setting the pace. Not a wild pace now, I wouldn't say, and he's leading by about a length or so from on the inside, Carl Taylor in the center, Amon Azit on the outside, Jeffrey Chaucer close up also. Uh, Wild Chief is close up. They're going down the turn now, five furlongs still to run, and see the moon is beneath to step up the pace. He's leading now by about a couple of lengths from Wild Chief in second place. On the inside is still being pushed along now, Carl Daildor going well. Is Ryan Moore now on Geoffrey Chaucer, and they're coming around towards the turn now. They've got half a mile still to run, and still see the moon under Christoph Simon has made the running almost from the very start, and he's really quickening the pace now. Second is Wild Chief going in pursuit, and Christoph Simon is going very wide to the wide outside. I'm not sure if this is deliberate or not. Uh, the German derbies have been well on the wide outside, but it looks as if he may possibly. Have th we can't see him in the picture. He's on the far right of the picture now, and his Wild Chief is now taking it up from Lucky Lion uh, but on the outside you can see see the moon is in front so this was if he if it's successful of course a master stroke by Christoph Soumillon and he is well clear see the moon leading this leading him home by six seven eight lengths of as procession now Christoph Soumillon wins see the moon easy winner here of the German diary what a fantastic performance wasn't clear when he came into the straight whether this was deliberate tactic or not but it was brilliantly carried out by Christoph Soumillon. Uh, we'll find out if that's what he wanted, but the horse was, here he is now being a little bit tricky now to see the moon, but the job is done and he won this race by about 10 lengths. A splendid, splendid performance, see the moon. And uh, a, it was a one horse race, what can you say? He made the running, he, he led after two furlongs and uh, quickened the pace round the turn into the straight took the horse immediately to the wide outside deliberately and off we don't know and one he went well well clear we could see inside the final furlong he was lengths clear of the opposition and wins this race by I would guess about 10 lengths so a tremendous performance by see the moon and uh, this is clearly not only the best three-year-old in Germany I would say this is one of the best three-year-olds in Europe the way he won this race was quite staggering number two see the moon Owned by Geschut Skirlsdorf, who also the breeders, ridden by Marcus Klug, uh, trained by Marcus Klug, and ridden by Christoph Soumillon, the winner of the 145th German Derby, and a spectacular winner wins this race by about 10 lengths. Here he is in the picture, Christoph Soumillon, the Belgian jockey, on number two, See the Moon, and this horse wins in amazing style. That's all from me today. My colleague Peter Brown is going to come back to sum up this race for you, but we saw a very, very good winner here. No doubt at all, Christoph Soumillon waving to the crowd. This horse outclassed the opposition here. was one of the easiest winners of the German derby ever. I'll be back next time. I won't be with you again for another three weeks, but Peter Brower is back with you now.
Ja, natürlich.